my name is Lynn and I'm going to conduct the ceremony today and this is uh, my colleague Marina and we are from the London Borough of Newham Registration Service. I would also like to make mention to our guests joining us from Uruguay. <laughs> I have to inform you that this room in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned by law for the celebration of marriages. On behalf of David and Natalie, I would like to welcome you all here today to share with them in their wedding ceremony. However, I must ask if any of you know of a legal reason why the marriage should not take place today, then it is your duty to tell me now. <laughs> marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Marriage means making a commitment to developing cooperation, friendship and mutual respect. It calls for honesty, patience and of course humour. Marriage is where each partner cares for the other and supports them in all that they do. As well as the strong love and respect that David and Natalie have for each other, they share similar principles and priorities. Their relationship enables them to face life positively and constructively, and they now wish to live with a commitment and understanding that marriage represents. It is in this spirit that they are now before us. In each other's company, they have found happiness, fulfilment, and love. David and Natalie, we are glad to join with you in a solemnization of your marriage to witness your vows and to support you both in your intentions for your future life together. Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding nature of the vows that you are about to make. Married according to the law of this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you know of no legal reason why you should not be married to each other here today. Are you, Paul David Hilditch, free lawfully to marry Natalie Raquel Lopez? Aye. Are you, Natalie Raquel Lopez, free lawfully to marry Paul David Hilditch? Aye. The ancient and traditional way to seal a marriage contract <coughs> is by the giving and receiving of a ring. The wedding ring has an important significance in the relationship. It is an unbroken circle which symbolises everlasting love and is the traditional outward sign of the lifelong promises you are making to each other here today. So Dad, can I come in please? you at that karaoke night so many years ago. <laughs> um, I don't think men like you invested, you are kind, um, affectionate, caring, loyal, funny, intelligent, and just a little bit crazy, which is good for me. So <laughs> perfect for me. Um, 
since then, her relationship has grown so much, and today stands as evidence of how we've taken care of each other, supported each other, loved each other, and try every day to make each other happy. That and our beautiful daughter, Lorelei. Um, so I promise today that I'll keep doing the same things that have made us so successful so far. I promise to talk to you, I promise to listen to you, I promise to laugh, uh, and most of all, I promise to love you. We now come to the final part of the ceremony for these two people co to contract their marriage in the presence of you, their witnesses, and guests. Could I ask you all to please stand? <coughs> I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I, Paul David Hilditch. To witness that I, Paul David Hilditch. Do take thee, Natalie Raquel Lopez. Do take thee, Natalie Raquel Lopez. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. And Natalie, I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I, Natalie Raquel Lopez. To witness that I, Natalie Raquel Lopez, do take thee, Paul David Hilditch, do take thee, Paul David Hilditch, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. David and Natalie, look to one another and remember this moment in time. Today you have said a few words that will take you across a threshold of life. You have both made the declarations that are prescribed in law, and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, friends and family here today. It gives me great pleasure to be able to say you are now by law, husband and wife together. You may kiss your bride. Thank you. Congratulations. If I could ask everybody to please take a seat while we get the entry checked and signed into the register. And if you took a 